Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members uh, of the uh, Ways and Means Subcommittee. Uh, uh, today I want to talk about uh, H.R. 4969, the Earn It Act, which is the Enhancing Advancement, uh, Reducing Noncompliance, and Improving Trust Act. Uh, what this is is uh, involves an expansion of the Earned Income Tax Credit uh, and, and, a, and a way to pay for it. And, and the, in 2014, uh, President Obama talked about increasing the federal minimum wage to 10 10 an hour. And the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office did an analysis of the, of the economic impact of that. And they said, yes, you would lift 900,000 uh, Americans uh, out of the, the poverty line uh, as uh, defined uh, by, federal, by the federal guidelines, but you would also cost the economy 500,000 jobs. And so um, what I, in looking at the earned income, in earned income tax credit, it is, it is heavily, heavily weighted towards uh, individuals with, with, with children, uh, as opposed to uh, individuals without children. And so what this legislation does is, is, number one, it lowers the eligibility for the earned income tax credit across the board, whether you have children or not, from age 25 to age 21. Uh, and then secondly, it, it pluses up the, uh, the EITC benefit for uh, childless, low-wage, in, low low-income workers. And so uh, I think that this is very uh, um, positive. So how it pays for this is that the IRS did an analysis in 2003-2025 uh, on the Earned Income Tax Credit and found that there were a lot of individuals that were receiving it that did not have uh, their child living with them uh, in, in their residence. And so, in a, so um, what the, and they came up with a better verification process that has never been implemented. And that is that to have um, a, a third party, whether it be a social worker, a lawyer, employer, or, or other public official, uh, verify that there is a child uh, living with that low wage worker in terms of, of their eligibility. That, and so, um, the, um, there was an analysis done uh, by the, um, uh, the, the Tax uh, Foundation, I believe, that, that is a part of the Congress. I'm trying to get the specific name for it here. Um, and so oh, the Joint Committee on Taxation estimated that there would be a net, in, if, if you had that requirement, that there would be a net increase uh, in federal revenues, i.e. not paying out the tax credit to those who, who were not eligible, of $3.7 billion over a 10-year period, which is more than enough to pay for the proposed expansion of the uh, earned income tax credit under, under my proposal. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I respectful of the time, and I yield back. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Carl.